Welcome to another broadcast with Gian. You will listen to a short reflection that will inspire you, challenge you, and enlighten you. Now our host, Gian. Hello, my friend. Have you heard about the rapture of the church? Probably you have heard something about it. What is exactly this? Is what uh, is going to happen one day. The church, those believers in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to be lifted up to the sky to meet the Lord in the sky. But those are the true believers. People want to know about when. The Lord Jesus said clearly, nobody knows and nobody is going to, to know ever about this. This is something that only God the Father knows. So you cannot try to figure it out when is going to happen the rapture of the church. The point is, is going to happen. Now, some people, for example, like my parents, they we're looking forward to the rapture of the church, believing that one day the church will lift up to the skies to meet the Lord Jesus in the clouds. But actually, they passed away. So there are two things that you need to consider all the time. One is that you can pass away anytime. And that is equivalent to the rapture of the church as a believer. Remember this, as a believer. If you believe with all of your heart that the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of God, you have the stamp of the Holy Spirit inside of you. The Holy Spirit dwells inside of you. Therefore, whether it is that if you pass away, your heart stops beating, simply you, you, your body finishes, right? Work. That is the moment of the transition to heaven, to paradise. As a believer, you know that that can happen anytime. But what if there is a rapture of the church before you pass away? I told you, my parents and my ancestors and probably your ancestors, those that are believers or were believers, they're already in the presence of the Lord. They didn't experience the rapture of the church. The rapture of the church is going to happen one day. We don't know when, but what we know is that it's going to happen. The Lord Jesus told a story about it. He said that there were 10 ladies, young ladies, waiting for the wedding, for a particular wedding. They were invited, but five of them, they prepared themselves with enough oil in their lamps. Five were not wise enough. They just brought enough oil for a little time and eventually they ran out of oil. The story the Lord Jesus told us represents what is going to happen to many believers. Believers that they don't treasure the oil, which is the meaning of the, meaning of the oil is the Holy Spirit in their lives. So there are believers that they they do believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They even go to church and perhaps they participate in activities in the church. But deep down in their hearts, they don't treasure the Holy Spirit. In other words, they don't care for what truly the Bible is telling them every day. They don't care for serving with a whole heart to the Lord. And eventually they start to to live their lives in a very unholy way. They don't pay attention to the voice of the Holy Spirit. So those believers that they are kind of fake somehow, you know, that they, they are not uh, totally committed with the Lord. They don't live holy lives. They don't sanctify themselves. They are the ones that the Lord Jesus said, they represent those five girls with not enough oil to go to the wedding. So 
either you pass away or the rapture of the church comes. Either way, you need to consider this. It can happen any time. But what is the condition of your heart, my friend? If you are a true believer, you should devote your life to please God. You should live a holy life, not just a moment during the worship service if, if you go to church. But if you go to church, if you worship God, like the scripture tells us that we should do, not just on Sunday morning, but the whole week, you devote your life for the Lord. You live a holy life. You don't do anything that is unholy. You don't participate in anything that is unholy. You sanctify yourself. In other words, you are going to be paying more attention to what you do, what you say, what you listen, what you watch. You pay attention to the conversations and environments where you are. You sanctify yourself. Sanctification is a process that never ends. Sanctification means the Holy Spirit is working inside of you. And you listen to that voice when the Lord says, don't go there, don't do that. My friend, even if you are a believer and you are devoted, you are going to think once in a while about unholy things. And you can get upset and you can be sad and frustrated and you look for revenge, for example or any other reaction that is a human natural reaction, but the true believer hears and listens that voice of the Holy Spirit inside telling them, don't do that. And then you change your mind. You are willing to change. Stubbornness is a characteristic of unholy people. So going back to the initial point, which is the rapture of the church, if the rapture of the church happens while, while you are alive. Would you like to be taken to go and meet the Lord Jesus in the clouds? Or will you take the chance that you will not be taken and stay here with the rest of the people that today they despise God, they reject the Holy Spirit. They are pagans, unholy people. Will you? risk your own life by living unholy life and not being taken in the rapture, my friend. Think about it. Victory Radio is now available 24-7. Visit our website, www.victoryradio.us. Great music, positive messages, optimism to keep you company while you work, or when you drive, or when you are at home cooking. Faith is what you need. Faith comes when you hear the right thing. Victory Radio is the new thing. Find us on the website, www.victoryradio.us. Have a great rest of your day. If you own a Roku TV, a Roku TV device, an Apple TV device, or own a Fire Stick, we invite you to install the Geon TV app. With the Geon TV app installed on your TV, you will be able to watch all the videos from the comfort of your home and be inspired with our programs. Enjoy music, inspirational videos, Bible teachings, and beautiful videos that will keep your tank of faith full all the time at the touch of a button. Remember G on TV. Receive the inspiration to achieve your calling in life. By G and Carlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon's Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, 
Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Welcome to this website, mynewmentor.com. Here you will find the tools to establish a direct communication with your new mentor, Gian. Get the available spot on Gian's schedule and set your appointment to have an audio or video call via Skype with Gian. Do you like new movies, new books, new music? Go to mygiancarlo.com. There is a new album, Adore, 10 songs. I wrote the songs and I sing those songs with a wonderful band of musicians and singers. If you sign up in mygiancarlo.com, I will give you one song for free. Take advantage of this free song and enjoy this wonderful production. The blessings of God are going to come to you when you are listening to the right thing, God's Word. You can find us in all of these platforms. Search for Gian TV on Apple TV, Roku TV, and Fire TV. Do you prefer a podcast? Find us too. And remember Victory Radio 24-7. The kingdom of God is near. We hope that you are inspired to get closer to God. Feel free to subscribe to our channel here on this platform. Also, you can go to our website, mygiancarlo.com, to connect with the rest of the platforms where you can follow us. You can write to Gian at 2400 West 81st Street, Odessa, Texas, 79764, or come here to listen to him personally on Sundays at 10 a.m. Our phone number is 432-614-9798. Our email address is info at mygiancarlo.com. Until next time, we wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Many blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus.